Sleep. I didn't. No. Neither did I. I just dozed, really. Can't really get my head around any of this. She'll never know him. She will. I'll make sure she knows all about him. School, why didn't you wake me? What's wrong? Gabby, uh, do you want to go and fetch your brother? Why? Has something happened to Dad? Can you just go and fetch him, please? Okay. Dead. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, I'm guessing you wouldn't be wanting any of this. Blimmin' will. So much for drinking me under the table, eh? You two had a drinking contest. Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna go to the supermarket if you fancy joining me. No, I've gotta help Moira. Well, it's day you then. You may be better going back to bed. No, no. I'll just trough this down and be out with you. All right. You sure? Oh. How is she? Oh, are you not on a blimmin' rotor or what? There's your answer. Excuse me. Better not be here to talk. Not unless you want to. I don't. I didn't come back for sympathy. Don't start thinking that. Fair enough. Were you putting the kettle on or what? What suit me? Not any more from Chaz? Yeah, um Sandra's still in intensive care. So I suppose she'll be in Mauritius for a while then? Dunno, probably. Right. Why don't you call her? Oh, I would have tried. Yeah, it just rang out. Try again. I'm busy here with Moira. Right, well, I'm sure she'll call when she gets a moment. Yeah. No big deal. She doesn't. Mum, what is it? You know, I said your dad was going to get better. Well, I'm afraid the doctors have done everything they can. And he's not going to pull through. No! I'm so sorry. Not so they're definitely sure he's going to die. We have to be brave. You said he'd be all right. You promised me. Yeah, I know. I was hoping that he was going to pull through. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. So we have to decide um, what to do next. And I'm thinking your dad would like to come home and be with us. What? Till he. He needs his loved ones around him. Oh. Now is not a good time. I was just wondering if Gabby was getting the bus. What's happened? My dad's gonna die. Um, we, we're just going to the hospital, so... I've got a maths test. Oh, that can wait, surely. 
No, no, Gabby. You do what you need to do. Right. Should we go see Dad? Yeah? Right. I'll get Dottie over two hours. Thanks, Dad. Thought me and you weren't talking anymore. I'll go if you like. Um, no, don't. You doing the accounts? My new novel. You're writing another one? Well, it'll be a crime not to now. My revamped version's going down so well. Been thinking I need to create a franchise, you know? Make it a trilogy. <laughs> that many? Why not? I've got loads of amazing ideas. In fact, there's this one really sexy scene I've been trying to write, but I don't know. I feel like I need a bit more research. What now? I need to strike while the muse is on me. Oh, well, maybe we can shut the shop for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need longer than that. Hey, have any of that stuff that unclogs sinks? Uh, I'm sorry, we're uh, shut for a stock take. Uh, it won't take a second, it's just that Harriet keeps gunking up the, the, the back. OK, well, uh, why don't you pop back in an hour then, yeah? Rude. Bye! <sighs> you... have been a very... Naughty boy. You don't have to stop. I want to. I thought you hated me. Of course I don't. I hate Josh. Why? How could he treat you like that? Yeah, it doesn't really matter now, does it? late for lucky coins. All the same. I wanted you to have it. You need it more than me. Thanks. <laughs> I've been meaning to come around ever since I heard about your dad. I didn't realise it was this serious. Well, he was going to die anyway. Yeah, but not this soon. At least he'll be at home. How is that a good thing? Isn't it? Him... Lying there, us all sitting around and waiting for him to snuff it. I might just go and stay at Mum's. I can see why you feel like that. When my dad had cancer, it was scary. I wanted to do something to make him all right, but you can't, can you? Yeah, but David's OK now, though. Yeah, but if he hadn't have been, I'd have wanted to say goodbye. That's it, though. I don't want to have to say goodbye. Can I touch him? Just let the, the nurse finish what she's doing first. In fact, can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Don't be scared. I'm going to look after you like you used to look after me. Hi. Ashley's popular today. We've come to take him home. Right. Well, I've had a word with a few people and we should be able to organise transport later this afternoon. Yeah, as soon as possible. Yes. You'll need to sign some forms. Now? It's all right. Me and Grandad will keep that company. Absolutely. <sighs> Back to bed. I can't. Money needs me. Not to mention I'm running the scrap yard single did. I've got no time for sleep. Who mentioned sleep? What now? I could spare a quick half an hour. Hey, babe, I can't. I've got to get back to work. Adam Barton, I am offering myself on a plate. Yeah, and I appreciate it, but I've got a million things to do, babe. Not like you're ovulating, is it? Look, I'll catch you later, all right? All I'm saying is, if we're gonna grow the business, we need to think big. Society weddings, corporate events, PR dues. Now, that's where the money is. When you begin important, you will still talk to us, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, peppermint tea, thanks. Go and sort it out. I'm not the one in the wrong. Oh, OK. Uh, 
Um, I'm sorry about yesterday. I hate it when we fall out. Then why'd you keep winding me up? Fair point. Look, can we just pretend that video never existed? Doesn't anymore, does it? Yeah. At least that's one thing he's done right. Everything OK? Yeah, I think so. Good. I don't want to be stepping on anyone's toes. How do you mean? Well, wouldn't it be made of honour? You have told her. I didn't see that coming. School. You said I didn't have to go. Maybe I'll see you tonight. Um, oh, I don't know about that. We've got to get the place ready for Ashley. You know where to find me. I'm really sorry. So he's definitely coming home. Where else would he go? Right, let's get this place sorted. Full scale, polish and clean. I'm on it. Good to hear. You OK? Yeah. We're all in it together now, aren't we? Just tell me what needs doing. Well, um, You can vacuum the stairs. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Gabby, I'm proud of you. We all are. Your dad included. Same again. You're in a rush today. <sighs> Time is short. How do you mean? Ewell. Hasn't Laurel got enough on her plate without you going AWOL? Sorry. I couldn't face it. Face what? <sighs> Something happened. Is it Ashley? The doctors have done all they can, but... What are you saying? Am I getting my beer? Make it two. And a couple of whiskey chasers. We need to keep it together for Laurel. I don't know if I can. What? Lunchtime. Why are you closed? We just had a bit of business to see to. You might want to, uh... Oh. oh, more positive reviews. Oh, I haven't checked today. Just working on the sequel. She wrote in another one. <laughs> oh, Vic, you might be able to help me. I need loads of saucy ideas. Oh, is it that David's job? <laughs> yes, but you work in a pub. The amount of stuff you must have heard from all the drunken men bragging about their exploits. Oh, I should ask Layla. The amount of things that she's done for a pair of shoes. Oh. <laughs> Come on, people. I need lots of ideas. Loads of them. Yeah. She's writing a trilogy. What have you started? You've opened up a real Pandora's box. Mm. Pandora's box? That's a brilliant title. Is it? Yes. Who is Pandora? And who will open her box? <gasps> Babes, you're going to have to serve these. I've got to get this stuff down. I feel like actually read a book. I'm surprised you have. I looked at a few paragraphs, sort of garbage. Mm. Oh well. What harm can it do, eh? Uh, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I don't allow punters behind my bar shoe. Your bar? In Chaz's absence, I am the acting manager. Yeah. Only for a couple of days until charity gets home. Seriously, I will buy you. This I would like to see. Oh. Fine, just leave the money by the till. Hell and damnation! Oh, not so loud. What are you staring at? Hey, 
Let's not start a fight. I wish... I just wish I could do something. I know. Why are those two getting bladdered at dinner time? Ashley's dying. Well, how's that news? No, I'm... I mean... The pneumonia. Days at most, they reckon. Oh, blimey, Paul get. Very sympathetic. I am being sympathetic. None of us want to lose one of our own, do we? Oh, no. Don't tell me the mice are back. You've got mice? You're not scared of a few rodents, are you? Well, Sarah is. I want everything perfect for when she gets back. Mm, yeah, cos I never tidy up. Oh, well, that's not what I'm saying. I just mean she'll be weak after her journey. If they wanted to catch anything, it'll delay her operation, won't it? She'll be fine. You tough us lot. And what if the treatment doesn't last long-term? Can't think like that. You'll drive yourself crazy. She's right. This is the time to celebrate. Oh, sounds good to me. Proper dingle party. Oh, I don't think she'll be strong enough for that. Good news needs to be celebrated. I'm going to spread the word. Nan! <sighs> Why can't she see what he's really like? Do you trust Pierce? Well, I wouldn't no, say that... No, of course you don't. Oh. Do you know why he got her to choose Carly as a maid of honour? Out of spite. You need to have a word. <laughs> I'm not getting involved, and frankly, neither should you. You wouldn't say that if Pierce had shoved that sex tape in your face. What about? You said he deleted it. You know, about time you stopped whinging. He set me up like he did you. It was a long time ago. I'm sure he's not like that anymore. Well, he clearly is. Right. Piers loves Rona, and they're going to get married. Why would you want to let anybody see what they get up to behind closed doors? Well, that, Paddy, is a $64,000 question. And do you want to know the answer? Not really, no. Because he is hell-bent on driving me and Rona apart. No, you're the one doing that. And I think you're going to have to decide what's more important, being right all the time, or Rona's friendship. I just don't want to see her get hurt. Well, then forget how much you hate Pierce. Go and make your peace with her. It's the only way you're going to gain a trust. OK. Yes. <laughs> oh, pie and chips, please, Marlon. Okay. Of course you will. <laughs> yes. Wow, they look happy. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, I always say, John, it's never over. Until a fat lady sings. Oh, whatever then. Here's to the fat lady. Fat lady. We'll meet again. I've tried talking to don't her. Don't know oh, where, don't know when, but, but I know who. <laughs> you found him then? Sorry. We got delayed. It was... It's okay. I could do with a few myself, to be honest. A pull up a chair, landlord, large whiskey. <laughs> Actually, I think Laurel would like you there when Ashley arrives. If you can face it. Of course. I, uh, I just need a little Dutch courage, that's all. <laughs> Time for pies. Hey. But you can't sleep with your wife unless she's ovulating. Babe, come on, I've got ten minutes to net this and I'm going back to work. Please do not start getting home. Hey! What you do, doing on Thursday? Well, whatever it is, we won't be doing it together. Yes, we are, because Aaron's getting out of prison. Oh, that's when Sarah gets back. Oh, that's brilliant news. Yeah, and I'm thinking big bass in here, all the trimmings. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, Marlon, we're having a party in here the day after tomorrow. Oh, OK. So, just remind me, which one of us is temporary manager? Oh, come on, Marl, it's for Sarah. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. 
And surely you don't begrudge a girl with cancer and the landlady's son a bit of a knees up, eh? Of course he doesn't. Consider it booked. Whoosh. A word. You made friends with Rona? No. What I did was catch Pierce looking at that sex tape, the one he claimed he deleted. So? He kept a copy. It doesn't prove anything. It proves he lied to her. He knows I have got him sus. That's why he threatened me. What? When? Oh, a few weeks ago. Well, it's his hobby, isn't it? He did the same to you. Right. If he's such a monster, why is Rona marrying him? Because he's, he's brainwashed her. Listen to yourself. I need to make her see what he's really like. We've discussed this. She's never going to forgive you if you keep interfering. He's the one interfering? No, I'm not having it, Paddy. That nutter is going down. Where's Arthur? Bernice took him off. It was all getting a bit much. You all right? Yeah. The important thing is, he's where he belongs. Yes. With his family round him. Home. Next tonight, a rummage in the archives of British life as seen on telly, written as seen on ITV. Eating healthy shouldn't cost the earth. Check out our new show, Save Money Good Food, at 8. And fun and games with Holly at the helm. Brand new play to the whistle coming up at 9. Thank you.